Hello and welcome to Night Parade, the show where we were too lazy to watch the anime this week and Sekiro came out. I'm Fat Man. I'm Fenris. And today we're talking about Sekiro. Well, technically it came out a little while ago, but... Yeah, We but... played it and stuff. Oh my god. Yes. This is the first time we're talking about a game on this show. Yeah. This is going Hella... to be kind of an improvised episode. Hello, different. Yeah. We were both hyped for this shit. Yeah. I actually forgot it was coming out. <laughs> I was counting down the days. <laughs> like I, I remember when the promo for it initially came out and people were questioning what the heck is this is this gonna be the new dark souls what is this and new bloodborne yeah i was over, I was over here ringing the bell like finally a new tenchu game and i just kind of ignored it and then a few days before it actually came out i'm like hey it's this thing. It's coming out. It looks pretty fun. So I pre-ordered it like a couple hours before it came out. And it is very fun. Oh yeah, it's hella fun. Hella fun. First thing I want to uh, say about this game is that uh, I fucking hate this game. But you love it. But I can't stop playing it. <laughs> So, this is like Dark Souls, but with ninjas. Tenchu. It's like Tenchu Souls. I am unfamiliar with Tenchu. Tenchu is a series of ninja games developed by Acquire, which went under, and now the rights for Tenchu were bought up by From Software. Oh. And fun little fact. Sekiro was initially conceived as a new Tenchu game. Oh. But alas, it was never to be. <laughs> Unfortunately. Because oh. I love Tenchu. And this is the closest thing we're gonna get. I love stealth games. Tenchu sounds fun, I'll have to check it out sometime. But... Should... Yeah, definitely. Like, I, I've played a lot of Metal Gear. And just sneaking around, killing people, going through levels without them noticing you, that's that's my favorite part about these stealth games. It, that That's super fun for me. So I love that aspect of Sekiro. I'm about halfway through the game, according to you. And... Roughly I, speaking. I've, I've done... All of the content so far with stealth. And it's showing because I'm fighting the mid-boss right now and he's hard as hell and I can't fight him because I am not used to combat. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> I, I was in your shoes. He actually taught me how to play the game. I don't want to learn how to play the game. I just want to stealth kill people more. Well, Miyazaki says we can't self-kill people for forever. No. I, I've i been, up till this point, like, assassinating everything. I've gotten as many cheesy assassination attempts. Uh, uh, Mid-bosses. And yeah. that with stealth, if, as you can. If a boss can be assassinated, I've done it. And Where then she's the rest of the fight. Yeah. So. <laughs> <sighs> the main bosses do not let you get the jump on them. No, no, they don't. And no. it's killing me. No, it is not. And you will die many, many times. Shadows seem to die uh, like a hundred of times, like a thousand times, right? Uh. <laughs> Sekiro, shadows die more than you can count. <laughs> Usually to a gorilla of some kind. <laughs> I 
place where that damn gorilla. I had I had nightmares about him the day I beat him. Ser seriously? Like, yeah, I, I legitimately dreamed about a gorilla. <laughs> But that also goes to show how much I played the game, that I was actually dreaming about it. Oh yeah, I I used to have Skyrim dreams back when I was binging that. <sighs> I know. I <laughs> okay, so story time. <laughs> back when I was in high school, I played so much Skyrim. I Me I'd, too, bruh. I'd play it all day on the weekends. I'd play it before school. I'd play it after school. So much so that one day I had stayed up the entire weekend, no sleep, playing Skyrim. <laughs> Holy shit, that's more dedication than me. It, it was Monday morning and... I was so fucking tired and in in the Skyrim state of mind that I decided to go to sleep and skip school because I thought once I'm well rested I can just load my uh my save state and go back to uh before school and go to school. <laughs> you, you tried to save and go to school? <laughs> yeah, I I, I tried to quick save before I went to sleep and then load back at later and go to school. My life. I was really fucking tired. <laughs> God, that reminds me of the time the Guild Wars 2 beta came out. Oh, I love Guild Wars 2. What's and, your story? Okay, I've got a beta story for you. Ooh. Okay, so I'm playing... I played when when the guild was okay. So you know the guild wars two beta was literally only two days. Yeah. So basically, what happened was my buddies and I all agreed to pick a certain race, yeah. so we'd all be in the same starting zone. Except one of our friends did not want to be the Sylvan. Sorry. So we were like, nuts to you, and like, my brother and I just went through the area solely by ourselves. Yeah. And I played so much Guild Wars 2, that I legitimately fell asleep when I went to bed on Sunday. I dreamt I was in the starting area <laughs> with my pet fern hound. Aww. But I also get set. I got Sekiro dreams. It's... something. Yeah. I... I've heard that... What, what you experience in life really heavily affects how you dream. A apparently, bef uh, back in the day, people used to dream in black and white because that's what TV was. And then people be began dreaming in color when... Uh, TV became color. Which is interesting. So, that, that's, that's freaking weird, like, yeah. how media can affect how we dream. Yeah, definitely. But, but, getting back to Sekiro. Yeah. Oh, that was a tangent. <laughs> the game has wrecked our shit thoroughly. I, no matter how many times I try, I can't beat Genshiro. Is that his name? Yeah, I think it is. Genichiro, or one of those. Yeah. He is a tough motherfucker, and I can't beat him because I suck in the game. Well, then again, he's also... They don't really... You sort of have to learn a lot of the stuff in this game. Like, which is one of the things I liked about Dark Souls, is like they sort of, like trickled in things you needed to know yeah but here they were like yeah you need to know everything by the second main in boss <laughs> <laughs> by the third main boss right yeah i 
I kind of wish I didn't have to be good, at, <laughs> be good at the game to get any further, but oh, I'm I'm so regretting my playstyle now. But when you do get the kill, it's satisfying, ain't it? Yeah, if I haven't broken my controller by then. Fair enough. I I squeezed my controller so hard last night that it almost broke. Oh shit, that tense? Yeah. Uh, one of the boss fights I felt like my heart was gonna, like, beat out of my chest or something. <laughs> that's how- that's how tense it was, dude. Would you like me to go into that? Oh, go ahead. Okay, so I was fighting the owl. Oh. Which is a boss fight depending on your choices. Yeah. And so, there I am, fighting the owl. Also, spoilers, because we forgot to say that. Oh, shit, yeah. Uh, sp spoilers, <laughs> click away if you don't want us to ruin anything for you. We're going to try to stay away from spoilers, but you know they happen. Yeah. You've been warned. But so, After I'm fighting... Fact, I'm sorry. <laughs> my bad. Well, throw something in the beginning, dude. I will forget to. I'll, I'll throw it in the thumbnail. Okay. Thank you. It, it, well, the spoiler warning will either be there visually or whatever. Moving on. So, there I am, fighting Owl. No, this boss fight legitimately took me a day and a half to figure out. Yeah? Yeah, because Owl is very... He fights like the player. Let me put it that way. Right. That that makes sense because he's like the guy that taught you everything. Yeah. But the issue with that is... He's bigger, too. Well, bigger... Stronger, and in some cases, faster. Bigger hitbox, that's fine by me. Yeah, but it made it really, like... The way I wound up beating him was mostly by baiting out some of his, like, leaping attacks. <laughs> yeah. And then just stepping to the side and getting a couple of good hits in. I... <laughs> I've had the most luck with humanoid enemies by waiting them out and countering their sweeps or lunges. Yeah. That I, I I've been cheesing this game so much that's the only way I could win. I could try to get good, but that would Deflecting <coughs> is only useful against certain people. Like yeah. honestly, can you true like I'm trying to think of a boss that like was difficult. Like, there's some bosses that are really easier if you deflect is what I mean. Like, I had a really rough time with the bigger bosses, because I really like deflecting uh, shit, because that's kind of my jam. Yeah. No idea why I love deflecting shit so much. I just like the clang the so swords make. <laughs> it's such a good... <clears throat> sensory feeling because the game's sound design is amazing right yeah it like go on when you land attacks they feel heavy uh, deflecting sounds very satisfying and it it just sounds good the sounds were very well selected for the actions they represent yeah I haven't been paying too much attention to the music. I just kind of drown it out when I'm concentrating so hard. But I haven't thought to put on my own music yet, so it's probably great. Yeah, like, I usually listen to stories while I play video games. Yeah. Which you probably figured, <laughs> if, knowing me. Yeah. Y you know, I listen to a lot of stories. Sekiro has actually, like, in some cases, got me to just stop certain stories. Like, I'm like, hold up. I actually want to watch this shit, because it's so damn beautiful. I am never bored playing this game. It's, it's pissed me off <laughs> so many fucking times, but it has never bored me. 
I love hate this game. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a bunch of little things that actually, like, you can feel when they add up, right? Yeah. But it just feels so great to play. So, let's <laughs> talk about controls and... Yes, controls. Like, did you have to adjust your controls at all? I didn't. I like the way they are. They're really good the way they are. I'm just, I just feel a little bit weird with where um, switching the prosthetic was. I might have to switch that to heal later. Yeah. Cause... Like, switch prosthetic to me feels really weird. Yeah. I usually am staying on one prosthetic anyways. True. Uh, I, I'm an indecisive person who winds up picking this multiple prosthetics over a fight. I get. I think one boss. I legitimately used every prosthetic I could. Really. <laughs> Just to find out which one pissed off the boss the most. <laughs> <laughs> which led me to uh, finally accept the true Lord and Savior, the Firecracker. Yeah. Yeah. I, I haven't used that too much. I didn't even really use it in the fight that you get it for. Well, it's only good for scaring his horse, but for, like, other things, it's amazing. Really? Yeah. Like, how how does that work? Does it... It stuns them for a second. Oh, can you stun lock them? Uh, you can get a couple hits in, and then you gotta wait for a moment when they're not attacking, and then you can, oh, cracker them again. Ooh. And you can do that as long as you have spirit emblems. It works better on animal enemies. Okay. But still, you get the idea. Yeah. It's so, a thing of beauty. I just recently got into playing Bloodborne. Oh. I, <laughs> I, I, I tried it back in the day, couldn't get past the Cleric Beast, and I gave up. But recently, I've been playing it with a friend, and I've gotten to the final boss... And it's been a fucking blast. I'm glad I finally got through it. But I regret... I regret playing it now. Because you cannot play Sekiro like Bloodborne or Dark Souls. It's a completely different... Or Tenshu! If you're dodging around the arena trying to avoid attacks that way, you're going to die. A lot. You're gonna die over Frequently. and over and over again because although jumping and dodging have iframes, the tracking in this game is legendary. It feels so... Like, the tracking also <clears throat> works for you. Yeah. Oh my god, does it royally get you messed up? Like you said, it's the small things. This This game is fantastic it's precise it's responsive it feels great to play but you have to play it a specific way or you're fucked yeah you gotta play it a specific way or else you're kind of in the on your way to a pound town so i went into this knowing that i can't keep dodging around to do stuff to avoid attacks but, but I, then I still there are things did it. they want you to dodge to yeah it really depends on um the boss fight coming off of bloodborne though i am just reacting to everything by dodging and that's getting me killed and i can't stop it because it's muscle memory yeah, it's hard to untrain your muscle memory. Like, I tried playing some Dragon Ball Fighters after playing Sekiro for a week. Yeah. And, and you know I love fighting games, right? Yeah, that's, that's what you're doing most of the time I call you up. I couldn't input a quarter circle motion <laughs> for about five whole minutes. And you Holy to shit. Figure out how to quarter circle. I so, also tried to deflect my brother's attack like I was playing Sekiro. <laughs> <laughs> Sekiro fucks you up. I, I, 
Also, when five year old came old, I tried to quarter circle someone. <laughs> <laughs> let, let it be known, I am not a smart person. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to Hadouken something. <laughs> That's great. I, I I wish I wish that worked. That'd be so funny. Yeah. And great, like, you're not playing a fighting game. Like the secret uh Hadouken power up in Mega Man. Mm-hmm. That shit's funny. Oh yeah, if you actually input the Hadouken as Ryu and Smash it to get a powered up version. Oh yeah, that's fun. But, yeah, sound design's great. Bosses are fantastic. Who's your favorite Story. boss so far? My favorite boss so far? Yeah. Like, in terms of, like, di difficulty to gameplay rating? Uh, difficulty oh. doesn't really matter. Who's the boss that you've had the most fun fighting? Weirdly enough, aside from Genichiro... Which is a weird one to say. <laughs> as much as we say Genichiro is hard. Because he is a challenging boss. I'm gonna have to say my favorite boss that I fought so far yeah. has to be the folding screen monkeys. Really? Yes. Correct. These little shits legitimately took me half an hour. <laughs> I'm, they... I'm not sure if this this has to do with my intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> Let it be known, I am not the sharpest tool in the shed, Batman. <laughs> oh. I, I'm sure you know this. Thank you for that reference, by the way. Wait, what reference? Uh, did I make an unintentional all-star joke? Yes, you did. God damn it. <laughs> But so, like, y you have to chase off after these little fucking monkeys, and one of them's, um, they're based off of see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, do no evil. Oh, I thought there was only three. There's a fourth one. Oh. How come that one never shows up in the quote? Because it's invisible. <laughs> oh. Half the time. But so, one of the monkeys has really good vision but poor hearing yeah another one has good good vision but poor hearing another one has poor vision and hearing but if you get up close to him he will scream and alert all other monkeys to flee and so i didn't think to work there are locations where they some of them couldn't do their abilities but that didn't occur to me at first it didn't occur to me to lure the monkeys into various rooms. So I gathered up- I, I was running after these pieces of shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> running around the boss area just chasing after monkeys. And I'm like, come back here. I figured out how to bait one to run towards me by throwing a- Like a rock thing near it. And it ran right into me and- it was a wild time. It genuinely took me a half an hour. <laughs> and then I couldn't find the invisible monkey. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that one, like, following you the whole time? It was. It was right behind me. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's the boss I'm looking forward to the most. But in terms of, like, actually having to fight, I'm gonna say the corrupted monk. The, that guy on the bridge that's in, like, the promotional stuff? Yeah. Because you could self-kill them. You can what? You can self-kill their first two phases. Sweet! Which is fun. And other than that, they're actually a fun fight. Huh. I'm presently stuck. Also, fuck the ape. Fuck the guardian ape. <laughs> Everything the Guardian Ape stands for, I hate it. Because I got done with the first stage, and then I'm like, oh hey, this is fine. Everything's fine. You know? Yeah. I'm like, sick. I beat the boss. 
and then I like go to check out the new check out the area to see if it unlocked and then I hear a thumping behind me oh no and it's like headless ape and then I turn around and it's swinging its sword at me <laughs> and then that took me another two hours another day to beat oh jeez I've seen clips from that fight. That's horrifying. It was very horrifying, but not more horrifying than having it fight in the face and having the poison kill me. <laughs> I died to poison damage that time. Oh, God. Oh, fun oh, game, though. I love this game. My favorite boss so far, you can probably guess, because of how much I love the stealth elements of this game. Who is it? It's the giant snake. Oh, the giant snake? You'll love the giant snake even more. For I... giant snake round two. Ooh. In which you stealth kill him again. And you get a god of war moment. <laughs> Sweet. I know. I've been meaning to check those out. But... Just... Sneaking through this valley where being spotted means instant death. That and was an amazing feeling. That was scary. That was the, that was the first time in this game that I got scared. Cuz I didn't really watch any of the promotional stuff. I didn't watch I know now that the snake appeared in a bunch of pre-release videos, but that's the first time I had seen him, and it fucking <clears throat> scared me. Just going down the cliffs and feeling uh, it shake and its giant head emerging from the wall. <laughs> may I have a confession? Go ahead. I nearly crapped my pants when I- <laughs> when the gorilla got off again. <laughs> Cause as soon as like I turn around, go find the area, and uh, and then I get the red kanji that means danger. <laughs> and do you know that um meme that's like Ralph Wiggum, and it's like chuckles. I'm in danger. No, I I don't know that one. I'll send it to you. All right. But that was me. <laughs> the fucking. Everything about this game. I, I love it. I I don't know why I play this game. It makes me angry, and I know it makes me angry. I know it's going to make me angry more. It made you very angry from I what I... I don't want to break my controllers. I don't have money to buy new ones. But it's also so damn fun, I can't stop playing it. Yeah, like... Dude, I almost got a freaking, like, remember I told you about the owl boss fight? Yeah. The owl boss fight, when I finally beat him, my heart was pounding, like, out of my freaking chest. Because <laughs> I was on a sliver of life. That's a goddamn adrenaline rush. Yeah, this game is a fucking... I freaked rush. out when I finally beat Lady Butterfly last night. Oh, shit. I I was on a sliver of life, no more healing, and I just I just bum rushed her because I was panicking. <laughs> just die. You overwhelmed. You finally got her. Yeah. Oh, at least she gives you the attack up, which will make Anitra easier. Oh yeah, I haven't tried to fight him again since then. But holy shit, dude. What do we say about Sekiro? Great game? No, it sucks. I hate it. Don't touch. Thanks. You're like, thanks, I hate it? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm over here like, thanks. I don't know how to feel. I love hate you. I love Sekiro. But it's such a pain in the ass at times. Uh... Early on in the game, I was stuck on the Shinobi Hunter. Oh, yeah, me too. As well as that Horseman dude, and I didn't think I could progress. I put it down for a couple days because it made me so angry. 
and then, then you I, came back. And I came back and figured out I could backstab the shinobi killer, and then I practiced, uh, what, 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 what's it called, Mirai Counter or something? Yeah. I practiced Mirai that counter. on him. Yeah. Because he's super easy if, if you just learn that. I don't know. Yeah, this this game and is a steep learning curve. And you've got to watch out for that grappling reticle. Yeah. During boss fights, because that can appear sometimes when you're not looking for it. And it's so useful. Didn't even notice that at all the first time I fought the horseman guy, or the second time, or the third time, because I was so angry at him. But. Bottom line, this game's fucking garbage and you shouldn't play it. You should play it, right? No, don't play it. You'll die. But dying is fun. Uh oh. <laughs> In all seriousness, I'm really glad I got this game. Yeah, same. Kind I, of. I was pretty <laughs> hyped for this. This was legitimately the only thing I got to do. Because. Okay, so I was- I pretty much got screwed out of my spring break for college. You knew- you know what happened, right? I- I, I just know that you were in the hospital for a while. Yeah, I was in a hospital with like a virus for like eight whole days. Jeez. And like, I didn't get out till Thursday of my spring break week. Which is only a week long. That sucks. I know! What a but way Sekiro... to spend a fucking vacation. I know, right? And then Sekiro came out the day after I got out, I think. So I played Sekiro. Yeah, that's fun. Oh wait, no, Sekiro came out the week after. Ah. But so I basically tried every to do everything in my power to make the next week as much as fun as fun as possible while balancing school. Yeah. Which did not go well. <laughs> I think it was so bad when I got home, like, Wednesday, I genuinely forgot something I needed for cr for school. <laughs> and then I didn't, and I realized it that time, but I really didn't, and I ordered some papers for it, but I realized the papers weren't, weren't big enough, so I just taped them together to get a full-sized poster sheet. <laughs> <laughs> and then I fucking called it the Forbidden Jutsu. Awesome. I can't think of anything more to talk about. Can you? Neither can I. We're probably missing something, but we've been recording for oh. quite a while. Yeah, this is a Shinobi prosthetics. They're pretty neat. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that's it. I used a lot of- I, I used all of them, and I love all of them. Let's just give a top five shinobi prosthetics. I don't even use that many. I I stick with the shuriken most of the time and switch to the axe when I need it. Because the shuriken is my favorite prosthetic tool. It It's great for causing interrupts and closing the distance between enemies with the- with the martial arts. I largely used the loaded spear. But that's because I like poking things. Because <laughs> it's just like, oh, uh, let me just reach way over and poke. I might uh, try out the spear. Because uh, in, in Bloodborne, I, the main weapon I used was the Rider's Palish. And that was a stabby weapon. And it was quite fun. Oh, that's a good weapon. But then again, I'm, I'm the person in Bloodborne who uh, speaks the good lord of the pizza cutter and the cannon. Oh, scary. Yeah, I was a strength build. Use the cannon. Did you go into blood tinge at all or just mainly strength? Oh, I, also, I used arcane. Uh, I was a strength arcane. I just happened to have the cannon as a sidearm. Okay. And it's gone, but I think we're done. Okie dokie.
Well, I give Sekiro Shadows Die twice. Nine broken controllers out of ten. I give it nine. Nine um, trying to remain calm out of ten. It doesn't work. <laughs> Somehow I've maintained composure. Other times I don't. I'm a very angry boy. That is okay. We've shared our thoughts, but we'd like to hear yours as well in the comments below and on our Discord. The night parade has now come to an end. See you next time. Fuck this game. <laughs>